It's the third annual Legendary Pocket Village Tournament from the Catskills in upstate New York. Hi, everybody. I'm Irv Brown. I'll be working with Alan Hopkins. Alan, that's seven ball in your hand. That's a little different than one I remember. Sure is. It was made up for TV, Irv. Usually we play nine ball on TV with a yellow striped ball as the winning ball. Now we're playing seven ball, so we're using a pink and black striped ball. <laughs> so TV rules everything. This is a round robin tournament. Seven ball, nine ball will decide it by eight ball if there is a tie. Got a great match coming up for you. Contrasting styles. Minnesota Fats and Irving Crane. First off, tell us about Minnesota Fats. Minnesota Fats is going to talk a lot. We know that. He's allowed to talk from anything from riding his Duesenberg to playing pool. So he's going to always be talking. The game's going to be slow because he's going to be walking around talking to everybody. He's going to take his time. He's going to shoot a lot of crazy shots. Irving Crane takes his time, too. He's not going to talk. He's a very serious player. Yes, Irving will not take any crazy shots. Probably not play any combinations, either. He's going to be very deliberate, a safe player, and try to win. We'll put the pressure on. Who's going to win it? I'm going to go with Irving Crane. <laughs> All right, you heard it from Alan Hopkins, who's the nine-ball champion in the world. It'll be Irving Crane versus Minnesota Fats. All of that coming up from the Catskills. Stick with us. It'll be a classic. Minnesota Fats and Irving Crane. Two <laughs> contrasting styles, as we mentioned, at the top. We got the mouth against the executor. <laughs> <laughs> the lag. the form. Fats has been beautiful. He's been talking to the crowd. Irving Crane, a very serious player. Irving Crane is tough under pressure, too. Fats right. likes the pressure. Should be a great one. Hey, Irving's, out for, Irving's out to win. I got news for you, Irving. <laughs> <laughs> wants to win this bad. So Irving Crane, who shares a piece of first place, will break him up. We're playing seven ball. That means after the break, Minnesota Fats can call the corner that he wants, the side that he wants, I should say. It's a rotation game. Game one, a seven ball, Mr. Crane breaks. And there's Fats in the background. He's entertaining them already, Alan. Slowly, the old lady was gorgeous. One ball went in on a break. And the six, Fats, pick a side. What'd you say? Pick I'll side. take this side over here, my friend. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, where can I sit? Junior here stole my seat. Oh, Irving has a very <laughs> difficult shot right Junior, now. Junior, you're a mighty man. Doesn't have a pocket for the one. He's got to cut it in the left-hand corner pocket or play a safety. If he makes the one, he, he'll figure to get out one here. One ball. It's a very difficult shot. He has really shown us some excellent long cuts. In the oh, There's another one. Great shot. Irving Crane can still play the game, still involved in competition. Host of records. We mentioned in an earlier show, because a question came up, why the limp, and, and Charlie Ersetti, a referee, he came over and explained it to us. He had polio as a youngster. Hadn't held him back. So many honors, so many awards. 1970, he was chosen the Rochester Football. Athlete of the Year. What a great shot that was. He doesn't screw. Oh, great shot. He's, He's made two fantastic shots in a row. It's going to be very, very tough to beat. $10,000 first prize. He is tied with Cowboy Jimmy Moore. Newcomer Rags Woods for the top with 40 points. Three ball. Four ball. He'll play the four, and he'll go down to the bottom rail and trying to come up on the other side of the seven ball with high right hand English on the cue ball. Probably the toughest match we've seen in this tournament, Alan, was the match with Irving Crane against Jimmy Karras. I mean, it was a chess match. Sure. A lot of safety. All right, Crane can win it right here. That is his side, side that he's going to. Got to watch the scratch here. He's going to have to put a little English on the cue ball. Oh, so he misses. Bats will have to go to the right of the screen. That's something. He gets one shot, and he's able to win it. And Fats is very good at, at very different types of banks. His favorite, favorite shot. He loves the bank. He almost banked at the side. He did. Oh, he did. <laughs> <laughs> Minnesota Fats, who is a great showman, gets one shot. He puts it down. You thought I was playing it down there? Take a look at he this. He was out. playing this down the corner. He got lucky he made the cider. <laughs> <laughs> Play it down there. He's out. 
<laughs> Very lucky shot. Look at this shot here. Oh, God. <laughs> Overhead angle. We'll take a look. Minnesota Fats only got to hold a cue one time. Irving Crane was on a roll. And here it is. Minnesota Fats moves up one game to none in our seven ball competition. Game two coming up when we come back. Been involved in competition like that yourself Fats where you get one, one shot and win it, and that's exactly what happened. How good does Fatty play? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see, he scratches. So it'll be ball in hand for Irving Crane. It's ball in hand behind the head strings. Crane pick a side, please. Irving Crane ran okay. six balls. In fact, you have the far side, or if I the near side. Going for the seven ball. Ball in hand behind and the head string. And he missed the cut, one. and then Minnesota Fats. Behind the head stringer. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Minnesota Fats was able to bank it in. It looked like he was going downstream, but it <laughs> went in the side, and they all count. Yes, Just they like do. It doesn't matter. As long as you make it your side of the table, or just like that hitter who uh, hits a pop fly, a Texas leaguer that falls in. It looks like a line drive in a paper. Minnesota Fats is up 1-0. Now Irv's got a toy corner. A little bit of a tough shot on the two. Should be able to make it, though. Come up table for the three ball. Look out. May have snookered himself. Mm, let's see if it gets past. The five is covering the three. Playing to hit the three. Well, he makes a shot over in the corner and almost puts it in. Let's see if he gets lucky here on the lead. Oh, Fatty may knock the seven on his side of the table here. Minnesota Fats is taking his second shot. He leads one game to none. This is only the second time he's picked up a cue. Look oh, at this he shot. He may have made it. Look oh, at this shot. <laughs> my goodness. That Holy was a great shot. Smoke. Now, what do you do if you're Irving Crane now with a seven sitting over there? A piece of cake for Minnesota Fats. Do you try? What happens, uh, here's, a, here's a comment. What happens if I shoot at the seven just to knock it on my side of the table? He'll get ball in hand. The seven will stay wherever it lands. You'll lose your turn, he'll get ball in hand. The referee is Charlie Yersetti. So Irving has a decision to make here, Alan. Well. He could knock the seven on his side of the table, but then he gives ball in hand to Charlie, I mean to Fatty. And I don't think he really wants to give ball in hand to Fatty right now. So you would run, the three and the six are locked down here. Well, not locked. If he gets ball in hand, he can make the combination on the three uh -huh. or, make the, or make the three. He can make the six or the three, but if he knocks the three up table and leaves the cue ball by the six ball, I don't know what she's going to choose to do here. If he knocks the seven over, he could leave it by the four ball and that's just knock it away again. Or... He's going to play the three ball. Irving Crane is a very meticulous, cautious player who studies the shot a long time before making a decision. He's made his decision. Tough shot. Three ball. Fatty will bank this ball into the seven. I don't think he'll even try and make it in the corner. No, no, he's going to try and make it. He made it. If you're watching Minnesota Fats play for the first time, don't blink because the shot is on its way. Well, he... <laughs> I'm not sure if he was trying Can't to... Can't hit him that hard on him. <laughs> Bounce out. I hit that good. Yeah, that, that corner, I lost the game. Well, Herb's got a chance now to make the four and knock the seven away. If he wants to take that chance and knock it out. He doesn't want to make the seven. If he makes the seven in Fatty's pocket, he'll lose the game. Well, it looks like that's what he's going to do. Uh, exactly what you're talking about. He's thinking about it. Put a little something on it, unable to get the seven. No, he didn't want to touch seven. He just wanted to make sure he made the four, five five. got on the five. He'll play the six and then knock the seven away. Six in the corner. He'll come down table now, knock the seven, probably try and bank the seven on his side of the table. And there's a 
position. No, that's not good. Mm. 